Sanchez from InTheRing.net. I'm over here with Alex Alcedo. Alex, congratulations on your, on your fight. What a great fight uh, in front of your fans. Tell us, uh, from the beginning, uh, from the first round, uh, did you think that it was going to go and continue like this un until the seventh? Uh, no, we knew we was coming, coming into a tough fight. We knew the, Lenny was a very, very aggressive, tough fighter. His knockout percentage says it all. His, his fights, his experience. So we knew it was going to be a tough fight, so we took it round by round. It started getting a little tougher after fifth round, I believe. But like I've said since the beginning, we, we were ready for anything that he that he brought, that he brings to the ring, and uh, we definitely got ready. We had a good camp, and we showed it. In the fourth round, you were in a little trouble. Tell us a little something about that and how you got out of that. Uh, it's part of it. I mean, I've been through there before, so, you know, so I've seen it before, and it's just, you have to be mentally strong at those moments. That's what makes you a champion. That's right. Uh, going into, let's say, uh, the sixth round, uh, what did you think uh, was going uh, to happen as you went forward? No, I started seeing them, you know, a little more hurt, cut. I mean, I felt my cuts too, but we have a good uh, cut man, good trainer that knew how to control it, and uh, I was um, I was, I was good. I mean, my, my conditioning was good. I just kept going forward, and the knockout came. The crowd, how did they, uh, how did you feel in front of the crowd? They were cheering you on all night. How did that motivate you uh, when you were in trouble in the fourth? No, it was a great motivation, man. I want to appreciate everyone that came out, supported. It was, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, you know, now we can come back and big, big, bring bigger things to Oklahoma City. It's just the beginning of, of, of bigger things. Okay, tell us something about uh, the future. Uh, what's next for you? Who do you want out there in the 140-pound uh, division? Well, you know, I'm the mandatory for Hooker, so uh, hopefully we can, they can make that happen. Uh, Ramirez is there too. I just want to go after the champions now. I mean, we, we, we're ready for the champions. We want the champions, and we want to go after them. Okay, going back to the, the fourth and the fifth, what was uh, uh, your trainer Abel Sanchez telling you in the corner? Uh, just to stay calm, stay calm. We, we worked on a couple punches that we seen that that this guy, that could land on this guy. So just stay calm and use, we started using them and you know, we made we made the stoppage. Okay, uh, if and when you get the fight with uh, Maurice Hooker, where do you want to have it? Uh, what do you think it might be? Uh, what's your preference? I'll fight him anywhere. I'll fight him anywhere. I'll go Dallas, come here, we go anywhere. As long as we get a ring, we'll fight anywhere. <laughs> That's great. So, when do you expect to get your uh, your first world title? Uh, we're going to go back and heal up. We've got like five stitches, so got to heal this up and then we'll definitely be back stronger. Uh, did, you injure, did you injure your hand toward the end of the fight? No, just a little bruise. Just a little bruise. It happens. Uh, it happens, you know, it's part of it, and uh, like I said, we'll be back stronger. That's great. Congratulations, and we'll see you next time in thank the ring. Guys, thank you guys for the support. Follow my career, man. There's, there's bigger things, greater things coming. All right. Thank you.